Hi everybody. Hope you're having a great Monday. I just I'm about to change and I get it ready for the day and I thought you all might want to join us. So um yeah. Last night she wore her my girl fleece leopard print jammies with the pink trim and the little cute mice on her feet there with the mouse on the bum and I thought I would keep the leopard print theme going today and it was really really cold last night we had a huge windstorm so underneath this I actually put her um, long sleeve leopard print um, onesie and I think she's going to keep that on. Sorry. Looks really weird. Yeah, I hope you've all had a good Monday morning. Um, and that all is well. I don't do a lot of these. Videos, so I thought this would be kind of fun to do with her. Um, No, but what I'm trying to say, Martin, is most people have There we go. Um, as I was try trying to say, I don't do a lot of these changing videos, but... Yeah. Dressing her, I just wanted to say thank you again to everybody for the wonderfully sweet, nice comments you keep leaving. They mean so much to me, and um, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than thank you. You guys are awesome and fantastic, so, um, thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Um, uh, um, I actually have a busy day on today. I have to take my Chihuahua Chico in for his shots today, so he's not going to be too happy with me, but I thought I would get him addressed before going to do that. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave her in this leopard print long sleeve. But once you buy the uh, Child of My brand from Carter's with her, her little jeggings, um, and these are Koala Baby from Babies R Us. 
So really cute. And her same socks. Um, so yeah. I can't believe it is Monday already. That's just so surprising. Um, I don't know about the rest of you, but I find weekends go by super duper fast. And just time in general is crazy these days. One of the reasons I don't do a lot of these types of videos for you all, if you're wondering, is because it does take me a while to change her, so, but I figure occasionally that's okay, and yeah, this new changing mat I have for her does make it easier though, because she's not sliding everywhere, which is good, but, um, Sorry if this video ends up being long, things just work out a little better when I take my time, but yeah, I think we're getting there. These jeans are definitely skinny jeans, which makes getting a foot or feet through a bit of a challenge, but they do look um, super duper cute on, so I find it really worth it, um, but, um, yeah, so, While I'm doing this, I wanted to put a question to all of you watching. Um, just curious, what kinds of outfits you enjoy putting on your babies? And, or if you have many different types for different reasons, like me. Um, just curious because there is so many, there are so many cute baby clothes out there these days that for me it's actually hard to pick a favorite so I was wondering how it is for you um, what kind of things you like to put on your babies if it's different depending on if they're boys or girls or yeah also curious to know what item you find the most challenging to put on your baby I have challenges with quite a few things but I wondered if anyone else does. And I guess it might depend whether you're dressing a full body silicone like Ms. Emma or partial silicone or reborn. So, um, just thought I would ask and see. So does that influence your favorite items to put on the babies or not? Um, incidentally, I just 
changed her diaper earlier this morning. She usually has a really super wet diaper when she gets up. So we usually change that first thing. And it's a pretty usual um, thing for me to um, leave her, her sleeper in the morning and oh, just, sorry if this looks really strange. they can make baby clothes this tight for parents of real babies because if this was a real baby she would be fussing and crying and I just think that this would be way too tight and incidentally these are not preemie sized jeans they actually came with a newborn sized outfit I got for very a long time ago so it just seems really strange and as you can probably tell these never fit ever fit Zuri so and I don't think they would fit a real baby other than maybe a preemie but I don't think I would want to put this on my real preemie baby because they just seem way too tight. But that could just be me. Any thoughts on that? Um, see what I mean? It's like really tight down at the bottom. Sorry guys, kind of moving her around here, just wanting to get these on, I can show you. Sorry, just one sec. Dressing Emma is actually my one of the things I do to work out. <laughs> as funny as that sounds, but the payoff is so awesome. Anyways, um. I wanted to say welcome to my new subscribers and hope you all are enjoying my videos. I will give you an update probably later this evening to let you all know how things went for my little Chico today. I know he's not going to be very happy with me, but it's necessary to 
keep him healthy, so all these things we need to do as pet parents that are sometimes not so fun. And even us, um, um, just one sec. I was going to say, even as, um, reborn and silicone mummies and parents, there's things that are not fun to do, but... And uh, for real parents, definitely. And um, one of those things is always shots, I find. But particularly for your animals, I find that taking them for shots is just so sad because they trust you. And they're so innocent and it's not like you can explain it to them so um they trust you and are happy to go for a car ride and all of it and then you take them to the um vet and then they get stuck with a needle and or two and it hurts them and my jaw is part human I swear and he actually cries so that's not fun and he screams and yeah he's such a sweet little baby but he really is a baby and then, then he looks at me with this big eyes and it's like why did you let them do that to me mom <laughs> so um our bed is really good with him but yeah it's still traumatizing for both of us so not something i really look forward to doing but as i said it keeps him healthy so it's kind of important, but, yeah. I'm just going to roll him over here. Thanks if you're still watching. I know this is quite the process, but, um, At least you are kind of getting to see a bit of our morning. And I wanted to do one of these because, as I said, I don't do a lot of them. I show you all the end results quite often. But, um, okay, I, yeah, we're almost there, maybe if I pick her up, hang on, there we go. Right there. Ah, 
beans are on. Super cute. This ends. And then to go with that, I just have this cheetah pink. Sorry, cheetah print pink bib. That says wild about mommy. Right there. And it has the same cheetah print. And um, it's pink, and I just thought it would look really cute with that. It's going to be a little bit big on her. But we'll see. So I'm going to pick her right up again. Oops. That's a bail. <laughs> delicious girl and I love her in the cheetah print for some reason so she has her little same funky socks her little jean jegging things skinny jeans most definitely her long sleeve Cheetah print onesie and her super super cute wild about mummy bib. So she's all set for the day. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Um, sorry it was so long and a bit different, but. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you all have a fantastic day. Um, take care everybody and we will see you soon and thank you for being, thank you each and every one of you for being so wonderful and awesome. So, kisses from Emma and me and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone.